I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is an Higher Things video short. The, pre the, the parable of the uncancelled sheep, lost sheep, and the uncancelled lost coin. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gift in these dark times. And the Pharisees grumbled, and the scribes and the Pharisees grumbled, saying, This man eats, re receives sinners, and eats with them. Two parables follow this, this reading, the parable of the lost sheep and the lost coin. And I thought it might be fun to retell those parables in a way that the world would tell those parables today. So a guy had a hundred sheep he was watching, one of them strayed, did something awful, tweeted something racist, said something unforgivable, got himself in a load of, of hot mess. The shepherd goes and seeks him out, finds the lost sheep, sees the lost sheep in his lostness, and says, I'm not rescuing you. You deserve to be lost, sheep. You are a terrible person. You don't be uh, belong in a, in a great society. And the shepherd leaves the sheep to the wolves. A woman had 10 coins. She lost one of the coins. She goes and searches her house to find the coin. When she finds, finds it, she notices that the coin's image has someone who's done something terrible on it. So she throws that coin away and also looks through her other coins to see which one she needs to cancel as well. And if that seems ridiculous to you, unforgiving, unmerciful, unchristian, that's the way our culture is today. A lost sheep is lost because it should have been lost, because it deserved to be lost. A lost coin, well, that value is determined by what the coin image did, whether it was a good coin or a bad coin. Nothing is redeemable. Nothing is savable. Nothing is ever moved on from. Well, penance can be extracted, alms made to be paid, uh, but in today's culture, it all really depends on whose shoe you kiss. That, all of it while seeming absurd, is antithetical to the Christian faith, where the lost coin is found. The lady searched for it up and down, rejoiced, that her coin, which was lost, has been found. And she tells all her neighbors, and the party she throws probably costs more than the coin. The lost sheep is found. The shepherd throws it over his shoulder and skips back happily to the, the sheep pen. There, he places it back with the hundred sheep, redeemed, bought, died for, and tells all his friends. You see, God wants to save Sinners. That is the universal truth of the Christian faith. God wants to save those with dark pasts. God wants to save those who have failed. God wants to save those who religion has failed. Society has ostracized. And everybody thinks are just all around bad people. God wants to save those people. And that's why God sent his son. God wants to save you and me, too, with all our faults and failures and all the times that we have lived as we shouldn't live, loved others in a way that isn't lovable or love at all, and given our lives to causes which are just plain evil rather than the love and care for our neighbor. And just remember that if God cancels sinners— we'll be lost. And if God treats us like we cancel others, we'll be lost. For the measure that we use on others will be used on us. So the lost sheep, you and me, is found by a loving Savior 
and saved. And the lost coin found by the loving woman is found and thrown back into the coin bin in the piggy bank. Because there's more joy in heaven over one sinner that is brought back to the faith, brought back to society, brought back to the Christian love than over a hundred people canceling others who don't measure up to them in society. I'm Pastor George Borkhart and a Sleeping Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.